Hey guys, welcome to the Petrolix. I'm Graciano. We've got Kaz here in his M240i. We're going to be roasting his car, calling out some stuff he's done to it. It was a bit cringe. And some stuff BMW's done to it was quite bad. It might hurt his feelings a bit, but it's fine. I'm willing to take the bullet for it. Hope you guys enjoy. Did you know, fun fact. What? I think it's like 80% of partnerships fell in the first year. We're probably going to be the 20%, like my car mods. Okay guys, first issue. Can I just pass the keys? Is the car keys. The wrap he's put into the car. Into the car keys. He's put fake carbon fiber wrapping. God knows why. It's peeling off. Just so cringe. Why look, guys? Hear me out. Obviously it doesn't look great, okay? My only aim was to protect the key so it doesn't get scratched up further than it already is. Um, well, why and, not? I, and I put thick covers, yeah, but they're proper thick and it's really annoying, it's like really bulky. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's do stickers, it's nice and thin. You could, for, for much cheaper, you could probably just get a, a carbon mm. fiber plastic for it or just another color. Don't go for carbon fiber, it's cringe. Okay, that's rule number one. Okay, don't do fake carbon fiber. By the way, I'm getting roasted by some guy who's got hentai popping out of his left nipple, yeah? This is not hentai, this is <laughs> Aya from Spy Family, great anime, watch it please. It's 10 out of 10 anime, it's coming. First, like, first of October is a new season coming out, just making sure. Anyways, another issue, still sticking to the wrapping part and putting stickers on your car, is the, the BMW badges. He's, um, he's put it all over his car. He's blacked out all the BMW badges. I don't know why. I think the logo itself looks good enough. But if you were to modify the badge, just get a real modification, real like, you could really buy it for much cheaper. You could buy a really cool design, ready to go. Kazik, please explain why have you Look, put? Fair enough, yeah. But if you zoom in, you can see I've stuck it to perfection, yeah. It's symmetrical, it's good quality. It's been on there for a year. There's no signs of wear. And I want my car to be all blacked out. That's my reasoning. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Another issue I have is the number plate. It's, apparently it's a 2003 BMW, which he's paid a lot of money for. What, a 220D probably? He's, he's got it gelled out, which is fine, but I don't know what it's meant to say. It's meant to say, clearly, unless you are a very, uh, brain cell lacking person <laughs> in the kindest way for possible it obviously says race like uh, that's like, RA. it's r a the three is obviously the e okay fine the five is questionable but you can f your brain can fill in the gap it's race not my brain kaz not karen Who, who's kaz? kaz do you mean who's kaz Anyways, I think it looks sick, and that's what that's that's the bit that matters. Uh, but it came off a Honda Civic two, from two thousand three, by the way. Just saying. Um, what other issues there? Have we? None. Now there was another problem. It was the front <laughs> splitter. Now have a quick look at it. Just have a quick look at it, cameraman. Have a look at it. It looks nice. I'll give him that. It does look good. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Ten out of ten. But does it do anything? Apart from make your car look that it's lower to the ground. Doesn't really do anything. I, it, 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 it's, it's ricer. I have something against ricers. Anyone who puts a fake spoiler on their car and it does nothing to their car, it's quite cringe. Technically, you can't prove that it has no aerodynamic. I can't prove it, but I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet a lot of money that that does not do anything. Innocent until proven guilty. If you want your car to look lower, lower your car. That's what I say. It's already to the ground. I don't want to lower it anymore. Nah. Okay, guys, come here. Follow me. This is a. Uh, this is out of his. This is out of his uh, control. But it's some replica rims. They're worth about eight hundred pounds, maybe, maybe. I'm being generous here. They're worth eight hundred. It's probably pounds. about six hundred. Six hundred, yeah. They're fake. They're not real. Um, they look nice, but it's a shame that it's, they're kind of fake and it will really add value to the car if they were the real ones. The real ones, by the way, are like about four and a half, five grand. If you've got would, five grand to cough up, let's put it on. I, I know, it's a lot of money. <laughs> I, I, even I would, I would say it, but still, it's fake rims. Move on. The dust caps, this, 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 I, I don't understand why he's, he hasn't replaced them. They cost like 5p, 
to, to replace, get some I, black I ones. I can't lie, they were like five pounds from eBay and they were gloss black and had the BMW emblem on. And after like four months, it's literally disintegrated. disintegrated. It's like bare metal at a minute. So you, they started off black. <laughs> they started off black. And, and also, know, sticking to, this, to the black BMW badges again. Branding is key, boys and girls. Steel brakes, got no problem with them. Great ones. Another, this is, my, this is one of my biggest hatred for anyone who does this in the car. It's fake carbon. Uh, just fake carbon. Fake carbon mirrors. Looks real. It looks real, yeah, but it doesn't really do anything. It's a, it's a head shaker. It makes you a bozo. Is that, a, is that the word for it? Like, a, what's, the, what's the word when you're trying to show off? What's that word for it? <laughs> Let's move out to the rear. Again, black number plate, the black badging. I guess that's fine. No problem. Oh, oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. You have no problem with my black M240i, but you have a problem with my badge. Yeah, of course. Why? Because... What's the difference? Because this was stuck together and this was done, like, properly. This oh, is okay. Ah, fair Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Stop sticking stickers on your, on your badges. Anyways. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think he hasn't done that, which I'm quite happy for. He's blacked out his uh, rear mirror. Uh, rear, uh, I want to get that done. You do want to get that yeah, done. You're all just black. a repulsive human being. And I want to get this blacked out as well. The rear diffuser is nice. I like it. But it looks. But look at just look at the exhaust tips. Fake carbon again. No, I honestly think they're, they're genuine. I don't I've, think they're genuine. I bought it directly from BMW. Oh, they're genuine. I'll take yeah, that yeah, back yeah. then. As a part of the uh, M Performance exhaust. But I don't know if they, if they made carbon lookalike ones. Yeah. I doubt BMW would do that. I don't know. But it was directly from BMW. That's all I know. Okay. To the best of my knowledge, they're real. excuses already, but it's fine. So I was with him when he got the car. Not in person, but I was with him day one when he got the car and had a stock exhaust, BMW exhaust. Quite, to be honest, it sounded quite that. Bad. Um, and I was with him when he was looking for exhaust pipes, uh, exhaust system to put in his cars. Remus and what? So the options were Remus, um, Miltech, or let me just stick with like the stock sort of downpipe and stuff and the cats, and let me just change the back box to M Performance. To M Performance. Now, honestly, again, this is me roasting his car. The sound of the car is better than what it was but what it could be, he's missing out what the sound could have been if you put on a full, like, Remus uh, Azor system or... So here's, here's my thing though, like, the reason why I went with M Performance is when it comes to resale, that's obviously going to hold its value a lot better and it's actually going to add to the car. So if this car was selling for 20K and it's got an M Performance exhaust, it's going to sell for 20 and a half, 21K, whatever. So that was the reason behind it, but I do agree with you. I've got some things lined up where hopefully the car is going to get a little bit louder. Okay, let's go to here. All right, boys, follow me. Um, we're going to go inside the car, yeah, for a bit. Let me just use the <laughs> fake carbon. Oh, my bad, wrong button. Come here, boys, follow me. Uh, this is his driving position, by the way. Potentially the worst driving position I've ever seen. Um, the fake carbon again. I do not understand why. And his excuse is always it's protecting the plastic, and I understand that it does, but you could have used anything else, gloss black, piano black, wrap. So, in my defense about the whole interior app and stuff, yeah, I get it, there's a lot of people that sort of cringe at it, but in my defense, it protects the original parts. So yeah. again, when it comes to resale, I'm just gonna tear those but, off and it's gonna be like new. And secondly, it is good quality parts. I un like straight from 3M, yeah? I understand, but why carbon? People like carbon, but, but, but me and you don't go for carbon. We don't do fake carbon, right? So why, why fake carbon? Why not piano black? Or why not something else? I don't, firstly, I don't think like gloss black would have looked nice. Okay. Right, that's the number one reason. Secondly, carbon is just sporty, it looks sick. <laughs> it actually looks so wavy. And you would not, like a non-car person would not be able to tell that's a fake part, Absolutely. that's right. Well, that's the sad thing. You're fooling the, 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 the dumb. Look, here's the thing, yeah. In the engine bay, there's a cover, right? Just a plastic cover. And then you've got your air intake and stuff like that. There's companies like Aventuri 
that will give you, that will replace the plastic sort of uh, engine cover that comes with it, the intake as well, and it's all real carbon, yeah? It's like just those two parts, so yeah. the engine thingy uh, and the air intake with Venturi, I think it comes up to like two grand, two yeah, and a half it's grand. It's a lot of money. Two and a half grand. It's a lot of money. To, I agree. to replace something that's already working fine. But why do you want to look like you spent two and a half grand? Uh, Anyways, this is my biggest issue with this car. It's not his problem. Actually, it is his problem because he did it. Um, if you can, you just zoom into wherever that thing is there. This. <laughs> it's, there's, it's meant to be a gear stick there. <laughs> Basically, you, you shift gears, and the real car, you shift gears, and you put them in first, second, third. You choose to put them there. He's bought an automatic. Sorry, why are you saying it like an American? <laughs> but he's bought an automatic. Or, or automatic. Automatic. I learned English watching American movies. <laughs> and by the way, that's no joke. I'm dead serious. When he first got the car, I was really happy for him. Again, he's a friend of mine. Oh, I'm super happy for him. He's also the only car friend I have. I've got a few friends, and none of them are car guys apart from him. And the way I was upset when he didn't buy the manual. But why? So, so, so let me get this right, yeah? You had the money, you, you set your eyes on an MT40, yeah. and you would have got a manual. Why? I would get a manual. Why? Just from the feeling of just shifting a gear and, and uh, uh, like downshifting or rev matching your car, there's nothing like it. You're going through a corner, you drop it down a gear, the back end pops and, and, and crackles. So, it's just so, more, it's so much more mechanical. It's like you're the driver. You are. So the you one want to doing. be more in control of the car, all right? The way, uh, uh, yeah. And also, could your mom drive this car? Easy. Yeah. She probably would drive it better than you, right? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? A car for me is here's the thing that you're a forgetting. powerful car. It needs to be dangerous. I understand it's not a Lamborghini. Lamborghinis rip your head off, yeah. Here's where you're wrong. Here's where you're wrong. So firstly. In my opinion, there's a lot of people that literally wishes their automatic gearbox was by ZF, yeah? I've that gearbox is this. absolutely insane. Like yeah. literally, like people um, compare it to like a proper DCT, yeah? A dual clutch transmission, like the speed of those upshifts. Obviously it's still faster than a DCT, but it's like, like minuscule faster. So one, that's extremely impressive and you will be silly to forego the opportunity of having a ZF box in the sky. Number one, and number two, where do we live? <laughs> where do we live? London. Right, what is there in London? A bunch of cyclists. Okay, a bunch of cyclists. I was going for traffic, but a bunch of cyclists too. You drive, especially you, you drive yeah. in rush hour a lot, yeah. right? With yeah. the jobs that you've yeah, been yeah, doing. Yeah, 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 manual. Right, imagine you're constantly going down on the clutch. Why is that such a bad thing? I drive like 100 miles in central London. My foot is nice, it's, it's, if, it's worth, as a matter of fact, my right foot is the one that's hurting right now, not even my left foot. If we lived more, like, away from the city, 100% agree with you, manual all the way. Well, all right, first point he pointed out, he said, it's a, it's a very nice automatic gearbox. 10 out of 10, he said, why would I miss out on World the class. Well, now listen, this guy's car, this is his first big horsepower, big car, right? This is, this is his car. He, he's never going to downgrade to a lower end car. He's just always going to keep going up. Who knows, after this, it could be an M3, an M4, an M6, who knows? Those gearboxes are just as good as this one. But M2 at this size, a nice little size M2, manual gearbox would have been perfection. But it's, it's still a perfect car. It's just been perfection plus 10. A star. It, it, Do you well, see what I mean though? Well, because the gearbox itself, I understand, again. If you're talking about an M2, then I actually would you probably would get, get a manual. manual. But on the M240, like, it's amazing, yeah? So when you ride a proper M car, like the suspension is, is proper low to the ground, it's really hard and rigid. Like, you can rag that thing, you have a lot of confidence in the car, a lot of confidence in the upgraded brakes with M cars as well. Mm. The nice thing about M240, you don't have to worry about speed bumps. You just go. It's a comfortable car it's when you want it to car. be. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I didn't want, I didn't want to ruin that experience of having a comfortable car. I understand. By getting a manual. I understand. I will still rip you apart for it. <laughs> you should have gotten a manual. You're cringe as AF, yeah. Uh, uh, what's your next point? What's your next right, point? All right, follow me, boys. But if you look deep enough, right, you can see something there. Those are golf clubs. My man has bought this car to go golfing. That's the only reason he bought this car. <laughs> he's got to drive 
his wife's boyfriend around a few places. <laughs> As you can tell, he's got a weak bladder, so he has to go to the toilet a few times. So he's bought a golf club. I don't know why. He's also bad. I've seen him play. I've, I've been there. He's taken me to golfing, yeah? And I've seen him hit things. He's not even that good, but he's getting better, which is th the scary part, if he's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, just the boot itself is a mess. It's quite spacious. So golf is a gentleman's sport? I think yeah, that, no, that's the number one reason why I don't golf like it. Is you also don't like Formula One, which is also golf. a gentleman's sport. All right, all right, look, put the camera, cameraman, look at me for a <laughs> second. I have tried giving Formula One a chance. I've given it multiple chances. I used to watch it when I was a very young kid when Michael Schumacher was playing, yeah? Playing, Play. yeah? Racing, <laughs> my bad. Are yeah. you playing Formula One? Listen, he was racing, yeah? And it was, it was a good sport, it was nice. It was, it was actually quite competitive. Now. Formula One is just a waste of time about engineering more than the racer himself. If your car is trash, you're just out of the game. You're not playing anymore. It's just a useless thing. Lewis Hamilton went from going to win the seven, eight world championships to not even having a chance anymore. All because of what? Mechanical, uh, uh, just because of the car is running better than any other car. What fun is that? Where's the fun in that? And what was the other thing you just pointed out? You said something else. You said Formula One and... Golfing. Golfing, please. Gentlemen. Please, the number one golfer is a... Uh, don't worry oh. about him. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know Kaz did. If you'd like to see more videos like that about roasting each other's cars, potentially roasting my car, um, please give it a like, a little comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And yeah, we'll see you again next week.